Hey everyone, welcome back to Alps Mustang Garage, bringing you another video to help keep your Mustang on the road and out of the garage. Today, we're gonna hook our friend Ken up with a new stereo. So if you've been following the channel, you've probably seen a lot of this car lately. We did a transmission conversion, took the automatic out, put in a four-speed top loader, did his pedals, put some disc brakes on the front with a power brake booster. We got his power steering back up and going. Did some carburetor tuning. This car is almost ready for delivery, re-delivery. And just to say thank you, we're gonna hook Ken up with a new stereo. Um, Super sweet Bluetooth compatible Boss Audio Systems. We're gonna install this in a stock location. Ken's had this car for a while and he's never had anything here. It's just always been open. He's always had speaker wires just kind of hanging here. He's got kick panels with speakers in them, but he's never actually had any sort of audio system in here so we're gonna hook him up um he spent a lot of time with us a lot of trust with us a lot of money with us so we're gonna hook him up with the new stereo okay so first thing um this is a stock stereo bezel that we're gonna use to install uh ken doesn't have one so i happen to have you know a few of these and so unfortunately we're gonna make some cuts. Okay, so to modify this to accommodate the, the, the modern stereo, we just took the, the little retainer bezel off, lined it up, traced it out. That way I know where to make my cuts. That way it's gonna make mounting this a breeze. So now we just need to get my die grinder. Okay, we're set up in the vise to start doing some cutting. Don't forget to get your nice car out of the way. And don't forget to wear your safety glasses. So we got our nice little, you know, thin, thin disc cutoff wheel here. And we're gonna make some cuts. Okay, we got our opening uh, kind of made here. Obviously, we're not going to keep it that way, and looks like I need to go a little bit more. So we're going to just kind of cut a little bit more, and then we're going to kind of smooth it out with you know one of my carbo discs here. Let's see if I can kind of smooth out these edges, make it look a little bit better, even though it's going to be you know covered up once we put the CD player. Uh, deck in there so okay it's okay to take your time on something like this it's always easier to take more metal away than it is to add more metal, especially when you're working with aluminum. So, um, anyways, yeah, I mean, it's not like overly pretty, but for, for a quick little job and the bezel sits in there nice. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work perfect for us. So now to get the stereo in and, and uh, get her wired up. Doesn't hurt to slap on a nice fresh coat of paint on here before we install it. Okay, so after a couple little layers of some black rattle cam paint, 
run the uh, chrome over the buffer. It actually turned out uh, pretty good for just a quick little deal here. So, okay, let's just get this thing in the car. Okay, so we have um, you know, just your standard uh, power connections as well as your speaker connections. Depending on how many speakers you're running, you know, you may or may not use every wire on there. The instructions are very simple to follow. Um, as far as your power connections, your red is going to be accessory power, so key on power. Black is ground. Um, and then your constant power is going to be on your yellow. Uh, speakers, those are all labeled out. We are only running the kick panel speakers uh, in this car for now. You know, we can always add some later. But, um, got our speaker wires right there. And so it's just a matter of, uh, you know, tapping into a constant power and a key on power. Finding those, you know, probably off the fuse box. And uh, we'll get this, the wiring connections done. Then we'll install the stereo. Okay, so if you're not looking to... You know, find some wire and kind of uh, tap into a, a separate wire. And if you're looking to be not so intrusive, um, you can come right off the fuse box here. Um, you can use these little, these are uh, fuse taps. It just kind of pops in with your fuse. So it's kind of curved. And then it has a little tab that you can connect your wire to. So it's a nice little tap into your fuse and you don't have to necessarily you know tap into a wire or spend a lot of time trying to find a circuit that's not being used or whatnot so so yeah we're gonna find our power so you can find a constant power it's your test light here's a constant power and then I'll need a key on power this fuse here on the bottom is a key on power you can see my test light light up there so so we're going to use this fuse and then this fuse right here that's a constant power and then an accessory power here a little fuse tap just kind of hooks in just like that Connections all in place and everything. The sucker's all nice and mounted up. I guess we'll see if this thing works. All right. Need to get an antenna for it. Auxiliary and Bluetooth. Get my phone connected here. Extra wheel cylinders. And streaming uh, Alice Mustang Garage YouTube channel through here. Um, you'll notice like your reservoir might be dropping. Okay, well, we'll get all these wires tucked all back up in here. Nice and neat. That way she looks good and Anyways, there's your stereo, Ken. Um, I really do appreciate, you know, you giving us the opportunity to, to work on your car and having the patience for me to film all this process. And um, I really am uh, really excited at, at the results of the car. Um, it drives fantastic. It shifts fantastic. Um, please enjoy the car. For the summer, I know you did these upgrades because, you know, you didn't really trust the car and the car wasn't reliable and it wasn't really comfortable and fun to drive. And, and now it's going to be fun to drive. It, it's going to be reliable um, and it's going to 
it's going to be a lot safer as well. So, anyways, uh, thanks everybody for watching. Thank you, Ken. Um, enjoy your car, and we'll see you guys next time.